Hey guys, Coach Joe here. We're continuing our series on holding runners and pickoffs. The last two videos we talked about simply holding the baseball, making sure that you slow the game down, that you realize it doesn't start until you want it to. Then in the last video, we talked about what to look for as far as balking. You know, we don't want to be flinching. We can't be turning our shoulders. And this video, we're going to talk about our actual footwork so that when you're doing it the right way right here, holding the ball, we actually know how to pick off. And so the biggest thing we're going to talk about is our footwork. So when you're going to pick the first base as a right-handed pitcher, your right foot right here moves first just like that. So real quick feet, boom. I had maybe the best move in the Cubs organization. A lot of times coaches would pull me in just to pick a guy off. And, you know, I think a lot of it is I was just a really athletic player. A lot of pitchers, not so much. And so take pride in your athleticism. Take pride in your ability to hold the base runners. Right here, quick move right there. And at the same time, get this arm in a throwing position. Biggest things I see slow people down is you're gonna see this right leg going way over here. You're gonna see footwork like that, and you're gonna see a long arm action, which is gonna slow you down tremendously. Another thing is you have to gain ground to first base to avoid being called a box. So if I'm picking off like this, they could call a box. A lot of umpires won't, totally depends, but they could call a box. You want to make sure you pick off and then take that step to first base to make sure they see you're gaining ground, they won't call a balk, and you're not going to have to worry about it. That's just a really important thing. Make sure they know you're going in that direction. Sell it to the umpire, all right? You don't want them to have to make a tough decision. Really sell it. And this is something you guys can be working on in front of the mirror at home. You guys can be doing it at practice when you have downtime. Parents are always asking me drills that their kids can be doing. This is one right here, in front of the mirror, boom, footwork. Do it in spring training all the time. Guys that have pitched 10 years in the big leagues are doing that right there. Take pride in your ability to hold runners. It doesn't matter how good you are. It's really important. Coaches are not going to want to bring a guy in who can't hold runners, that the runners are just going around in a circus on them. Nobody likes to see that. Coach isn't gonna trust you. It's gonna be frustrating. Understand how to hold the runner, how to make it easy on yourself. It has to be a habit, because if you're out on the mound panicking, oh my gosh, the runners. If you're out there panicking, you're gonna leave a cookie to the hitter, he's gonna crush it things will spiral out of control. So really focus on what you can control, which is slowing the game down, knowing what to do with holding the runners, having quick feet, and making this move right here a habit. And once again, guys, any questions on holding runners, pickoffs, box, anything like that, comment below. Any questions on videos you want me to do in the future, comment below. And I look forward to